Hey guys, Batman about the Junior, and this is my set review of set number 76082 with the ATM Heist Battle. It has 185 pieces, and the age range is 6 to 12. And uh, guys, this is a set from Spider-Man Homecoming, and this was the scene in the trailer that all of you set, uh, a lot of you saw, and uh, it's a really popular scene. And uh, I'm gonna tell you one thing. I only got this set for one minifigure, which was Spider-Man, it was the cheapest way to get him. And I looked on BrickLink, and all of them were going for like 15 to 20 bucks, and I was like, you know what, it'd be cheaper to get the set. You know, pretty much be cheaper to get the set, because of shipping and all that. So I got the sets, and uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and open this box right up. So let's get my knife right up, and let's go ahead and open this up. Well, the stick doesn't matter what side I open it from, I guess. Um, just slide this. Okay, I can't even my from there. Okay, and there we go. Got the box open. Now we can dump all the contents out. Right there. Nothing left in the box. Put the box in the background for right now. So we got two bags. We got here's the first bag and the second bag. Numbered. Two numbered bags. Got the instruction manual right there. So there's that. And put that back. Fold instruction manual. And then we got a comic, which all these are pretty much the same thing anyways. I really don't like the comics. They're they're literally the exactly the same, so there's nothing to see there. Uh, a pretty big sticker sheet for a $20 set. Um, pretty big. I just want to say the retail price of this was 20 bucks, so uh, it's a pretty good deal, I think, but uh, it's not that great of a set. Um, but uh, the only reason I got this because the other set was 40 and I didn't want to pay twice as much for just one figure, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to open these bags up and we can get into the speed build.
Oh yeah, so after building that set, it was a pretty fun build, and uh, my fingers are pretty tired after building that fast. Um, and uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the set. Uh, first of all, we're gonna have it. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the minifigures. So let's go ahead and get into the minifigures. Okay, so here is the first minifigure, and this is henchman number one. And uh, yes, yeah, so starting off with the gun, I guess, so we can get out of the way. Uh, the gun has a little chain connected to it, which is a pretty long chain. Uh, it's the part of the, I think, the longest chain Lego makes, and uh, to get that entire frame. And also the new, like, not new, but like the kind of grapple gun that they use for Batman in the uh, in the Batman v Superman set. So that connected to a uh, transparent purple chain, which is pretty cool. And then you get the torso that you get, you get in a lot of Lego City sets, which is uh, pretty standard. They just colored the collar in a different color. They just made it black instead of yellow, so they wouldn't have the yellow skin showing. Um, and then the Hulk mask thing is pretty cool, and uh, obviously it's you know, shown in the trailer and stuff like that. And it has the fin hair piece, which is one of the best parts about the set, because uh, I just really like the fin hair piece. And then you, the double-sided face right there looks pretty okay. I mean, I don't know where you got the band-aid from in the trailer, but yet, I mean, in the trailer, I don't know if you had a band-aid on. But uh, yeah, so pretty cool little thing there. So that's henchman number one. Now we can move on to the next minifigure. Okay, so here's the next minifigure, and this is the Captain America disguised henchman dude, whatever. I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, so he has this pretty big gun to start off with that says... I can't really read it. It says DODC item AF15, which is... I mean, it's hard to read, but, you know... Um, there it is, I guess, it's just a, I mean, that's a little spoiler, I guess, for the movie. Uh, I think it's like Vulture's Company or something, I have no idea, but uh, I guess we'll see in the future uh, when the movie comes out. Uh, the gun, as you guys can see, is a pretty large gun, it's just, it's that little like blaster thing you see in the trailer. It has a stud shooter on top, you guys know how those work, I'm not planning on losing another stud in the room, so I'm not going to do that. And also, probably the best part about this minifigure, or the gun itself, is the purple lightsaber blade which is probably one of the best parts about the set because it's so hard to find so we can move the gun and look on the rest of the printing so next to the printing is pretty cool it's a like a red shirt and then has a black leather jacket kind of type thing with a belt looks pretty dope and then <laughs> you guys can see the legs are just some standard dark bluish gray legs the hair piece is a dark tan hair piece and then you guys can see right there the Captain America mask looks pretty cool and then that little side looks like he'll go beat up with a black eye and uh, like tooth knocked out and stuff like that it looks pretty cool and also the back print of the jacket as well it looks pretty nice so probably a really great torso print I don't know if it's new or not but it's a really great torso print I really like it and uh, yeah so that's the Captain America disguise Robert now we can move on to the last minifigure Okay, so here's the last minifigure, and this is obviously, well, Spider-Man, and, uh, yeah, so basically the person who plays this is Tom Holland, and, uh, pretty good take on Spider-Man, I think I really like the suit, it's also an update from the Civil War Spider-Man, um, it's pretty much the same exact suit, but they actually got a lot of things wrong, and that one, that suit was based off, um, reference from the art before the movie came out, I don't know what that, concept art, it was based off concept art and this is actually based off the real suit. So starting off with this, as you guys can see the legs are printed right there, you guys can see a little bit of lines and stuff, which I'm painting, I'm planning on painting that a lighter blue, uh, for the for all the blue parts I'm painting a lighter blue, see a little bunch of print on the torso, some lines on the blue parts, and then the little belt right there, and then a lot of, and the obviously, well the red Spider-Man printing. Uh, the little web shooter things, uh, these are called, I think, uh, they're called Power Blast feature, which is pretty cool. You know, you can uh, take that and then you can just, it shoots off. I mean, it's pretty cool. We can take those off. You guys can see more of the printing. The rest of the printing is on the arms, and the arms are really great. Uh, print is very accurate, and I think th this is the only reason why I'm buying this figure, so I don't have to paint all of this detail on, and so I can just do that focus on there the lines on the back of the torso right there looks really nice and all the detail in the back and double molded legs which is a great plus as well and the head right there as you guys can see is more of an accurate head than the old spider-man head which is really great 
And uh, yeah, so that's about it for this minifigure. So we can go ahead and move on to the actual set review itself. Okay, guys, now we've gone through all of the minifigures. And these minifigures are actually pretty good. Uh, Spider-Man obviously being the best one. So we can move over to the side and we can actually get into the set itself. Now the set itself is actually pretty bland, but uh, the play features are okay. And uh, they're, they're pretty good, I guess. And, uh, you know, so the motorbike is obviously just some... You know, regular dirt bike kind of piece. You know, you can put a minifigure on it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, big deal. You know, um, you get a web right here, a little fire hydrant right there, the door, and then uh, this window would also explode, so you can just go ahead and break the window open just using some simple thing. And uh, the last, it came, it did, this feature is like really well known. I mean, I've got three sets so far that have had this, this including it. Um, that has the same exact feature so Lego uses this a lot for sets that like, like to destroy and stuff like that and uh, the back opens up so you guys can get a better look on the inside so there's the ATMs and all that kind of stuff and then you get like a I think this is a security camera like a modern security camera like those little like ball things that are security cameras uh, better look at the lever right here and also right in there as well so you know how it works pretty much just simple technic um, I forgot to show you on the front, there's some stickers right here. This is stickers. Uh, all the detail you guys see here, nothing is printed. Everything is a sticker, which is pretty sad. Uh, also, there's supposed to be some stickers on the wall right there that look pretty much just like this. They are like just like shatters and stuff like that and glass. So I had to put those on because I can always reuse this glass piece as something like for making ships hover and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, some slopes right here there. And then uh, I'll show you guys the ATM, how it works basically. You just kind of do this, and it doesn't work very well. You kind of have to hit it really hard, and then the money sort of flies out. Um, but there's some money right there in there, but it's it's very poor feature. Um, I've been told by tons of people that it's actually a very poor feature, and it's it kind of really, really just kind of makes the set for a lot of people in a bad way. Um, which is not very good. I mean, there, you fit money in there basically, and then you kind of just make it explode and fly out, and it's a very poor feature. I don't think I really like it too much, um, but you know, that goes there, and then you can obviously just hit this little lever back here, and everything starts flying out, so I can do that again. Try to see if I can get it better this time, and uh, it's, it's very, pretty stupid. Uh, I mean, money sort of flies out, but then again, it's actually pretty hard to do, and it's not that great of a feature. Some money gets left behind some some of the time, and it's pretty hard to get the money back in if you're not careful. Um, so it's pretty hard to do. Um, I mean, you could always try tilting the money in a different way, pretty much like that, to so have it like land there, so it's already pretty high up, and then you could. But it's it doesn't it doesn't want to work. Too much. I mean, you have to do it a couple of tries to actually get it to work. So that's a flaw about the set. Um, it's very pretty big flaw. The money you really can't fit in that well because it's a chair. But I'm just gonna get the money out right now because you do get a lot of money in the set. Uh, also, you can. Um, I guess if you really wanted to, you could probably like make that explode. Also, if you just put your finger and make it explode, there's three more money here, three more hundred dollar bills, and you get six in total, which is a definitely a plus. But uh, yeah, so the ATM stickers right there are stickers and not printed, as I said. And then you also get those end bank things. I don't know what end bank is. It's not. I mean, we'll probably get a uh, better explanation in the actual movie. But uh, yeah, so this is not a very great bank thing i mean you get a web here like i said in the beginning but it's not very pretty poor i guess you could say um it's not that great and uh it's, i mean just get a little 360 over here you get these bricks but then again you only get three not that big of a deal but uh it's not it's pretty poor little build right here i'd rather get a vehicle um but then again that's what the other 40 dollar set is for so uh yeah i guess we can just end this review now so uh yeah, guys, uh, my total review on this, I'd give it a, I don't, I'm, I think I'd probably give, for the price range, I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10, um, total thoughts and opinion on this, I think I'd give it a 5 out of 10, the only plus is being that you do get a purple lightsaber blade, which is very hard to find, and you also get the new, um, actually, you know what, let me show you this, 
this feature with Spider-Man's, uh, like, his, I think they're called, I don't even know what they're called, but you can basically just go like that, and get a, like, press it hard, and then you got, it pretty much just flies out like a missile. It's kind of like the stud shooters, but, uh, it's a lot better, it's a lot better than the super jumpers, I might add. Um, but they're pretty cool, they're colored white, and they look like little web shooters, so that's pretty cool, looks like he's spraying webs, and I think that's probably the only, like, plus to the set. Also, you get this transparent chain, which is pretty cool. Don't know how hard that is to find, but I'm pretty sure you can get a lot of the Nexo Knight sets and stuff like that, but, uh, that's pretty much about it for the set review, guys. Like I said, total thoughts and opinion. It's not the best set, um... It's an okay set. You do get the Spider-Man, which is a very hard to find figure. Uh, it doesn't come in many sets, but uh, yeah, like I said, this figure costs like I think around 15, 20 bucks on Bricklink. So uh, I mean, this is a really cheap way to get it if you count that into the option there. So uh, pretty cheap way to get it. But uh, like I said, probably five out of ten for me. Uh, really not that great of a set considering the build and uh, the feature doesn't even work half the time. So. Not very good of a set, but uh, yes, yeah, so we can end this review here. Sorry, guys, been waiting long enough for the ends, but uh, yeah. So basically, guys, this is going to be the end of the set review. Um, like I said, five out of ten for the set. Not that very good, but uh, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.